Plastic waste, a major environmental problem, but several firms are finding ways to turn the items back into oil. This involves reversing the production process. Yoon Jin explains further. Waste plastic is cut into small pieces, and this reactor heats the plastic at very high temperatures of 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. This is called pyrolysis, where the usual production process of making plastics from fuel is reversed. The heated plastic is first turned into gas, which is then cooled and becomes heavy or light oil. Now, the petrochemical industry in South Korea is developing pyrolysis that, instead of using heat, converts the recycled plastic waste chemically. SK Innovation started injecting pyrolytic oil as a raw material in some of its petrochemical processes last year. And Hyundai Oil Bank was the first refinery to acquire an international eco-friendly product certification. It is now preparing to enter the global market. Last year, we applied for a regulatory sandbox to use pyrolysis oil as a raw material and got regulatory exemption. We plan to process 4,800 tons of oil to produce eco-friendly naphtha by next month. But the potential for development in alternative ways to produce fuel seems endless. A company has emerged that produces oil not by pyrolysis, but by using ceramic catalysts and wavelength energy. When plastic wrapping from ramen is put into the device, oil is extracted and just the aluminum remains. Instead of applying heat, this process works like a microwave where the bonds between carbon molecules are broken. This is a non-combustion facility. The process itself creates wavelength energy that breaks the molecular structure of the plastic wrapping in an eco-friendly way. So there is no combustion in the process. The company is getting recognition and has already patented its technology in more than 20 countries with contracts for export finalized with the United Kingdom. With technology now able to turn trash back into useful resources, recycling has become less of a choice and even more of an imperative. Yoon Jin, Arirang News.